The eyes of justice are watching. It's Batman! The giant maze. Revving up on his bat cycle, Batman races to the scenes. What's up guys, Sam I'm back with another review. Today we're taking, we're continuing the Kenner, you know, old school Batman animated series figures. This is Batman, the animated series, motorized turbo power bat cycle. This was awesome. I remember owning this as a kid and I, I used to play with this thing like all the damn time. And it's so, it took me years and years and years to actually finally rebuy this to find one that was in good condition for a good price. Now, the packaging on this one's a little messed up. I mean, it's an opener. I open my figures anyways, but I got this at Frankenson's about a year ago. Totally forgot I had this. And I think I, think I got this for like $5, which is an absolute steal. Uh, the cool thing is that DC Collectibles is gonna be doing an updated version of this and we're even gonna get the helmet. If you guys remember, Batman had his own you know, helmet that he wore when he wore the Bat Cycle. Unfortunately, this doesn't have it. Now this did get released, I think, two more times after the uh, after this Batman animated series, they released in two other lines. But the front of the packaging, you have the blister card right over here. You have, Bat you have Gotham City in the background and then on the top you have the Batman animated series logo and some really cool artwork of Batman on the uh, motorcycle. And it says right there at the bottom, Turbo sound and wheelie action. Again, I haven't I haven't played with this since I was a kid, so I'm pretty sure you know the nostalgia for this is going to be really strong. Uh, you come to the back, and there is a little bit of instructions on top. So it says here, place the bat cycle on smooth flat surface with Batman sitting straight up. Roll it forward and rev up to hyper thrust speed. It says push Batman down over the handlebars, release the bat cycle and off its speeds. So it says here to do a super willy, place the bat cycle on its rear wheel after revving the motor, push Batman down over handlebars and release. All right, so we're gonna do some test runs on this. We're obviously gonna do this outside. This actually has some original stickers on there. You can see it has a clearance sticker. Uh, it also has some other figures that are also, that were available and you can, you can still buy them. Um, we have Combat Belt Batman, which is a Pretty rare one from the animated series, which I do own. Uh, Turbo Jet Batman, the Robin, I own that one too. It's one of my favorite Robin figures. It comes with the glider. Penguin, Two-Face, and the Riddler. I have the Riddler. I don't think I have the Penguin though. But that's it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a close look at the Bat Cycle. All right, guys, so we have the Bat Cycle out of the packaging. Now, I am going to do the test on this on the... Uh, Towards the end of the video, we're gonna take a close look at the actual figure and the bat cycle, and then we'll do the test run outside. Now, the handlebar broke off on the left side. I mean, this guy was practically open in the package. The package wasn't the greatest, so it was a little flimsy. So when I took it out, this actually just fell off, but it's no big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this after I do the test run on it. So Batman is actually glued onto the seat. He sculpted onto it. You can't remove him, but the cool thing is, is I mean, this brings back a lot of memories. They, uh, back then in the day, in the 90s and late 80s for, their, for the Batman figures, they used these uh, cloth capes right here, and they were removable. They had this little kind of like wire right here that you just attach to the back of their neck. So this is really awesome that they still included it for this Batman figure. We'll get into that in a second. We'll, we'll, I'll show you how it looks on the Batman in a second. Uh, but the Batman figure right here, I mean, it does look just like the combat, combat belt version of Batman. You can see the head sculpt right there. His hands actually don't touch onto the handlebars. But um, you can see there's maybe like a, a little bit of space between the hands and the handlebars. You can see the screw holes on Batman's shoulders. You can see a little bit on the bike too. And then he does kind of go back and forth, so you can, but there's no other real articulation for the figure. He has a little gas tank right there on the top of the uh, the, the cycle. And then looking, there's no nothing really on the screen, or on, I should say on the gauges. You can, you can see there's some sculpting on there and some detailing, but they didn't put any color or anything right there for the gauges. Again, he has a handlebar with the brakes on there. Right here is the front, and then he has a sticker. Sticker looks like it's gonna peel off, so I gotta be careful with that. Uh, we have the front tire right here. I love the design on this. Look at this. Look how cool that is. And then this also does turn, and it also turns with the handlebars. So you have that. You got the Batman sticker right here on the right side. It's also on the left side, and his uh, feet are obviously sculpted into the side of the Bat Cycle. And then here's what the bottom looks like. 
and then we come to the uh, the back, the back wheel, you can see the back wheel here, and then you have the exhausts. And they didn't add any like sti or stickers or any coloring for the, uh, the back lights. I think they should have done that. But again, this was made in the 90s, early 90s. We'll go ahead and put the cape back on Batman. So stick that right on there. I think I'm missing a Batman, I mean my old school Toy Biz Batmans. I think I'm missing one of these. I actually might use this for it. But, uh, but yeah, so there he is on the cycle, and then you rev up the engine. But we'll go ahead, I mean, you can see it right here. We'll do a quick little test on this. And you, it's not gonna topple over because of the way it's sculpted on the side. So you can kind of tilt it side to side and it shouldn't really fall over. When he rides, he should kind of go like this. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the overall look of Batman. I mean, the outfit and all that is pretty much straight out of the animated series. You can see the Bat logo there and they still added the utility belt. The head sculpt looks great, but again, there's no art. Oh, he does have articulation. I take it back. He actually has rotation in the head sculpt. That's actually pretty cool. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this guy outside for a test run, and we're gonna see if this still holds, this, this still holds up today. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna do a little test run here. Um, it doesn't look like it rides that great. It kind of leans to the side, but uh, let me show you here really quick. So you just basically just go forward. That's how you, how you use this. Yeah, see it stops. It kind of, mine kind of leans to the side. I don't know why he does that. Let's try again. Oh, this cape, yeah, he doesn't go all the way. You can see the wheels are still going. I don't know what it is. Oh, it went a little bit better. I wanna see if I can get him to do the, the Papa Willy kind of thing. So it says you start it off like this and then let it go. Oh no, he doesn't, he doesn't even go all the way. Okay, I figured out what the problem is. You have to have Batman fully faced, not face down, but pressed down. If you have him kind of slightly up, it's not gonna go, so he has to go fully pressed down towards the handlebars. Watch this. Bye, Batman. Oh, geez. All right, let's see if I can have it go to you guys. To try this uh, on the driveway all the way to the street, see how far it can go. So let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna try to chase the bat cycle. See if I can run after it all the way down the street. Here we go. Oh, he stopped right in the turtle's home. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see if Batman is able to go off of the curb. So Jacob is here to help me, and we're gonna see if he can, you know, land by jumping off a curb. So. All right, here we go. Oh no, <laughs> he did a flip. Oh no, he does flips. Yeah. Let's see if we can get Batman to go over the speed the speed bump. Off the bump. There he goes. Perfect. Yeah. Oh. oh, he stayed perfect. So I've been practicing trying to do the Papa Willy on this guy. Um, I have to do it without the cape because the cape keeps on falling off. It's kind of tricky on how to do this. So let me try again here. Nope. Okay, so I think I got the gist of it. Okay. Record. Got him? Yeah. Okay, so let's see if this works. Ready? Just follow yeah. him, okay? Yeah. Oh, kind of. Let's do another take. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Got Three, two, one, go. There you go. Oh, okay. All right, so we are done. Overall thoughts. Again, I haven't used this since I was a kid, and it still holds up to date. It just took a little bit of practicing to get used to it, especially doing the, uh, the Papa Willie. I still have to master that. The cape does get in the way. Uh, you know, when you tend to push the, the, the figure, it'll end up coming off, but not a big deal. Now, one thing about this is you're gonna develop some scratches on this guy, of course. Um, I mean, but you know what? I personally don't care because I was, you know, this is meant to be used. And of course I'm a collector, but I, I wanted to test this out. I'm probably never gonna use it again, but you can see it does have some scratches on the side now. Now the reason why it did have that is because it tends to, when you tend to write it, it tends to, it tends to fall on its side. But I mean, this is really cool. And I mean, it's been so long since I've actually got to play with the figure like this. So it, it's bringing back a lot 
of memories and this is just a fantastic figure so happy to have it back in my collection and finally opened up after having this figure for over a year and forgetting about it so I got to glue back the uh, the handlebar but I also wanted to do a little bit of a comparison with the whoop, his cape fell out right there too but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a comparison with one of my my favorite Batman figures and this is the combat belt Batman this is a figure that I picked up at Frankincense complete loose but I got it for about 10 bucks so this is pretty much the same exact figure and let me see I want to see if he's he pretty much is the same scale so here's a little bit of a comparison with the Batman the combat belt Batman and the bat cycle Batman the color is a little bit different as far as the suits go but the cape and everything's the same the head sculpt on both of them are great this is my childhood right here guys I mean these figures came out in 1992 I keep the packaging on all of my vintage figures like the cards I keep these and I put them you know I put them away because I always like to look at them and just revisit them so that's it guys that's my review today we're taking a look at the Batman the animated series they call this with motorized turbo power, the Bat Cycle, turbo sound, no battery, no batteries required. This was made by Kenner back in, again, 1992. I know a lot of you guys like when I do the vintage Batman stuff, and guys, I have tons and tons of them. So, like I always say, if you guys do enjoy these type of videos, make sure you thumbs up the video, drop a comment down below. To, you know, it helps support the channel. And, you know, I can continue doing a lot of these videos as long as, you know, as long as you guys enjoy them, I'll keep on doing them. But let me know what your thought is on the Bat Cycle. If you want to see a quick review on the combat about Batman, let me know down below. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. This was a lot of fun to film, especially with Jacob. Getting to share this with my son because, you know, I was his age when this came out. Maybe a little bit younger. I think, let me see. I think, no, I was about his age when this came out, so it was really fun to share that moment. So let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video. We'll see you soon. Later.